The Pixel 2 was released at the end of 2017 and honestly was one of the best Pixel phones ever released. In this video we will see if it's still a good device today and if you should get one, if you are considering getting one. Let's start with the price of this phone. Uh, it retailed for around uh, 600 pounds in UK when it was new. However, today uh, you are able to pick up a Pixel 2 in a good condition for around 50 or 60 British pounds. So there's like 8 or 10 times price drop on this phone. So you're probably wondering if this phone is so cheap now, if it's still any good. And actually this phone is still incredible even today. Let's start with the design and build quality. Certainly the design on this phone isn't the best looking. When you compare it to something with like a Pixel 4a, it, yeah, it looks fairly dated from the front. And the screen isn't that huge. For example, a Pixel 4a has pretty much the same dimensions as a Pixel 2 while the Pixel 4a has got way larger screen. However, when we go to the back of the phone, it feels actually really nice. It has got a metal build quality, sorry, metal chassis all around, and there's glass on the top of it. And it feels really nice in hands. When you compare it to something new, much newer, such as Pixel 4a, which is all plastic, then you're really appreciating the build quality of this Pixel 2 phone, as for example the Pixel 4a feels very cheap in hands and the buttons feel just very cheap, while on the 2 they feel really nice and just feel premium device. I guess that's what you get with flagship phones such as this. Ok, so what about the performance of the Pixel 2? Let's um, open for example Geekbench and see the results. Also we'll see the Geekbench results of Pixel 4a and compare them both. Ok. As you see, a single score on the Pixel 2 is worse indeed. However, if you check the mole score, it's actually better than on the 4a. The Pixel 2 has got uh, 4 gigs of RAM, while the Pixel 4a has got 6 gigs of RAM. However, in everyday usage, I can barely tell any difference speed-wise between these phones, as the processor of the older Pixel 2 was a really good processor at the time, and honestly I think this phone was way ahead of its time when it was released, especially the camera on it. It's so good. Ok, so what about the display of the phone itself? Um, it's, as you saw, it isn't as huge as on something newer by today's standards. However, the screen quality of this display is extremely nice. Uh, all the colors on it are extremely good. Let's compare it again to something like the 4A. Check out the viewing angles. They are really excellent. And I tried to actually see any, uh, see really high quality videos and images, and I couldn't really tell these phones apart. The Pixel 2 is still so good phone. The display of it, I mean. Oh yeah, also the build quality, as I already said, is very good on this phone. And nothing really creaks or bends on this phone. It feels super, super solid. It feels really well built. So uh, this phone has been actually my daily driver for past years. There's barely any marks on this phone. So it has hauled up really well. As you see the screen still. Yeah, it looks almost brand new. And there are zero scratches on it, even if I haven't used it with a case or with screen protector. The screen quality of the phone, yeah, it's super durable as well. So what about the camera on the phone? Actually, to be honest, uh, I got this 4A as an upgrade to the F2 for the camera. I saw that the 4A will have battery camera. However, 
when I took about 500 pictures, I actually uh, was quite confused by the 4A as the Pixel 2 actually produced better images than the 4A. So I'm not sure what's about that. So yeah, if you're looking to upgrade the camera, yeah, there's pretty much no point. As the Pixel 2 is so good device and actually slightly better than the 4A. Even though the test results online say something different. When you really uh, punch the pictures in, the Pixel 2 actually has better camera than the 4A. I'm actually talking only about the stills camera. If you check out the video quality on this phone, then the Pixel 2 certainly has got a bit worse video quality than newer phones such as 4A or 5. However, image quality on this phone is still superb. And yeah, the 4A might be have something wrong with the software a bit, so I'm not sure, as the sensors on these phones are supposedly exactly the same. But why is the Pixel 2 taking slightly better pictures? I have no idea. And that's why I'm actually still keeping this Pixel 2, as the camera is slightly better than all the newer Pixels. So that's pretty weird. Okay. Speaking of performance again, as you see, this phone is still incredibly smooth. All the menus are super fast. Even all the games, when you play them, there's pretty much no lag anywhere. And yeah, it's just super smooth experience from this phone. Everything loads so fast on it. Now let's talk about the battery of this phone. The battery probably is one of the weakest sides of this phone. After using this phone for a few years, I will show you my health, battery, battery health. As you see, I got 72% left or almost 2000 milliamps. So the battery life certainly on these older pixels aren't the best. And I have seen many devices where you already need the battery replaced. So that is something to consider. Also, also, the um, CPU on this phone is very good. It's not as power efficient as something on like 4A. And for example, I'm able to get like uh, 10 or 9 of hours of screen time on the 4A. I'm only able to get like uh, 5, sorry, 3 or 4 hours of screen time on this Pixel 4. And that is on the good day. Sometimes even less than that actually. So yeah, if you're considering getting this phone, that's one thing to consider where it's not the best. However, again, the battery is pretty much fine. Anyway, I'm charging it like once every two days. So that's not, not too bad at all. Overall, the Pixel 2 is still a really good device even today. And if you can get one in good condition such as this one then yeah you should really go for one as it still has got extremely good performance the display on it is really nice even if it has got large bezels but that's pretty much the only negative thing you think the design isn't that that good looking on the front but the screen itself is really nice on it yeah and as i said the camera on this phone is incredible and yeah, I'm not sure why, but it's better than on the newer 4A. So, yeah, looking for a great camera, great build quality, which you don't really get on the newer pixels. Well, you get, uh, you will get good build quality on phones such as Pixel 3 as well. But yeah, that will be a bit more expensive. Still, this phone is a real nice phone. And if you're considering getting one, you should definitely get one. Alright, if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button. Also, if you want to see more videos about the Pixel 2 or other Pixels, make sure to subscribe, as I'll be releasing some very soon. And if you got any other questions about the Pixel 2 or other Pixel devices, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Alright, see you!